The Federal Reserve is not a federal agency, right? It's a separate organization. It's a private entity. It was set up in um, 20, in 20, yeah, 1913 after uh, a, a depression that was far worse than the Great Depression, which happened in around 1903. And uh, one of the things that the government came to realize was there's a huge problem with the monetary system. And uh, they helped establish a private organization called the Federal Reserve. Very conveniently, they put the word federal in there uh, to give it instant credibility, but, and maybe for some other deceptive reasons. But the Federal Reserve was established as a private entity, but, but accountable and reportable to the government. They were accountable to Congress for everything that they did. And the goal was that if the Congress said jump, they said, how high? And my pet peeve is when they give testimony to Congress as if Congress works for them. Drives me nuts. And you have congressmen who don't even know anything about the Federal Reserve, and they treat the Federal Reserve. I, I remember the big joke. I don't know if you remember, if, you're, if you've been following for a while, you do. But Ron Paul, not Rand Paul, his dad, Ron Paul, wanted to audit the Federal Reserve. You remember that? It was a big deal. And he demanded that the Federal Reserve be audited. And the Federal Reserve basically said, no, you're not going to audit us. As if they could say that. Now, what Congress and Ron Paul should have done, which he didn't have the power to do himself, should have said, okay, auditing firm ABC, get in there. We want to know every single thing the Federal Reserve is doing. Please audit that and get back to us. You don't ask the Federal Reserve. You think the SEC ever asked me if they could come in and audit when I was had my trust company? No. They didn't ask for permission. They told me they were showing up for an audit. The Federal Reserve is accountable to Congress. And when Ron Paul was asking for permission or trying to get the Federal Reserve audited, it was such a joke Ron Paul knew it was a joke. Too. I mean, he, uh, you know, we were on the same page there, but there, there shouldn't have been any question of accountability. They are given the responsibility to manage our monetary system. Now, I'll tell you what I disagreed with Ron Paul greatly. He wanted to abolish the Federal Reserve. And let Congress handle it. Congress. These are guys that can't even manage their lunch money. And Ron Paul wanted to give them control, give the Congress control of our monetary system. Can you imagine that? It would have been a nightmare. But anyway, I was not for that. But I was for the notion that they should have been audited. Because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Federal Reserve gave billions and billions of dollars to international banking systems. They don't have the authority to do that. They finally agreed to a partial audit. Can't audit everything. You just audit what we can tell you to audit. And it was determined that they did lend about $3.5 billion to various international agencies. Well, then that spurred a Freedom of for Information Act, and the, it, it ended up being about $7.2 trillion. I believe it was more like 14. But they had no right to do that. They shouldn't have done that. They don't work for anybody else. They don't have a responsibility to help any other central bank. They are the central bank for the American monetary system. <laughs> 